It's Cheap Homesteading here and today's the day I'm going to get my chainsaws out, uh, get them all sharpened up, make sure they're all tuned up and ready to go so as soon as I have a little bit of time uh, to cut some firewood I can get out there right away and not be held up. So uh, let's go. I find that the air filter is the most commonly overlooked. Um, People say the saw doesn't run properly and uh, it's mainly the air filters plugged so make sure you blow it out almost every time. So it's really important to blow from the inside out so you're not shoving the dirt in. And then, at the end, I'll end up blowing on an angle, so you don't have a lot of angle pushing in. So we're going to put the air filter back on before I get dirt in there. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to take the bar or chain off. I run my bars a long time, and I have to say years. I probably can get three, four years off my bar. Um, but as long as you take care of it, make sure it's oiling, it'll last a long, long time. I am a huge fan of Husky products. Um, I own three Husky 55s, um, and I, it's because I could take two out at a time, and even if something happens, I got parts. So I've been collecting them. I don't have a whole lot of money in them uh, because I fixed them, um, so it didn't cost me a lot of money for them, but I have the option. Uh, if something happens when I'm out cutting wood, I can set it down, grab the other one, so which is a big bonus. Every time I sharpen the chain, I put a straight edge on the bar, make sure the cutting surface is good. Now I'm going to blow off in there and inside the cover. So we'll remove the bar. As you can see, there's an edge starting here, so we're gonna make sure that this surface is level, a 90 degrees to the side. Um, we're gonna clean it all up and go, and it'll cut for um, actually more years. I'm not exaggerating, I barely buy bars. I keep going with them for a long, long time if you just take care of them. So it definitely is not 100% level, so I'll get the old square. What I'm gonna do is make sure that both sides of the bar are 90 degrees to the side. This looks pretty good, so you run it down the whole length of the bar and the other side. Oh, it's a little bit higher on this side here. I end up putting it in the vise. Okay, so now I put it in the vise and I give it a little bit of a file. Then I take it out again, then I run the straight edge down it again, and that looks good. I basically make sure there's no burr on the outside edge. There's no burrs on the outside edge and the chain surface is flat. You really want to make sure that the you clean around the oilers, blow everything clear before you put the bar back on because you don't want it to uh, clog up the uh, oiler port. So another thing that's really important is you have to clean out the oiler ports uh, or oil won't get to the bar.
Okay, so now we're gonna throw the chain on and make sure you put it on the right way. It may seem weird that I say that, but I've done it, so. If I was honest, not too many times though, because it is pretty stupid, but <laughs> I've done it a few times. Okay. Loosen off the chain adjuster a little bit. So you don't tighten it up all the way until you get it adjusted. Look at the oil everywhere, eh? Okay. So what you want is you tighten up your chain. You don't want to tighten it up too tight. Uh, but you want spring. You want the spring back. Now you finish tightening. The cover back on. We're going to go sharpen the chain. Okay, so now we're going to sharpen the chain. I sharpen chains multiple ways, mainly with my electric chain sharpener because I can just have chains sitting in a box and I can sharpen them all and they're ready to go. Um, but I do use my Gramberg hand sharpener and the only downside to that one really is the speed and the fact that uh, it, the chain has to be on the bar. My electric one I don't need it to put it on each chainsaw and sharpen them if I want to sharpen multiple chains. So we're going to go sharpen that. So now that I got the chain sharpened, the bar is reinstalled, we blew out all inside of it, we make sure that all the hardware is tight, um, and then now we're going to fuel it up, put some oil in it, and see if the oiler is working. And then make sure the oiler's working. So just leave it, uh, the bar a little bit close to it and rev it up and just see if it'll make a flail mark with the oil. Make sure your chain brake works. And lastly, the thing that gets overlooked the most, greasing your bar. Um, I find that just extends the life of your bar for sure. So make sure that you grease it. So each side has a grease hole. I give them a few pumps each time, each one. This is a uh, bar greaser. This was my dad's, it's actually steel, pretty cool. Um, you fill it up with grease and then you just push. So you put it in the hole, give it a few pumps, I flip it over, give it a few pumps. There you go, the saws are done. Um, and they're ready for the first day that I can get out there and start cutting some wood. So you have a good one.